Well, good morning. We are packing up and kind of go back to Wickenburg this morning. Um, we're both our sore puppies. <laughs> Jim's back went out a couple days ago and I bruised my ribs. So we're taking it really super slow. Oh, I don't even know if I can do this. Nope, can't. Anyways, we're taking our time. It's not very fun when we're both sore. But anyway, we're gonna pull forward and load our Can-Am. While he's loading that, I'm gonna fix this moppy, moppy mess. It's supposed to rain a little bit today, I think, which will be nice. Get some of the dust down. So unfortunately, he has to do my job for me too. So anyways, we're gonna pull forward, load the Can-Am, and go head out and dump and parker and fill up with water and do all that fun stuff and get ready for another week's worth of boondocking in Wickenburg. <laughs> everywhere so there might be something else in there I don't know checklist 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 <laughs> well I don't normally put my coffee in the can-am but mm, now it's cold coffee Chairs are set. Dishwasher? Yes. Fridge is locked. Lights are off. We're good to go. Yay. Okay. Anything looks good in there? Hot water heater was on. Uh-oh. Not anymore. Good thing we have the list. Good thing we have a checklist. Pull down the road. Hey, we'll see you down there. Okay, cross the thing. You too. Race down the day one. Good day, Kelly. Good day, uh. Oh, good to see you. Right. Take fun. care, drive safe, okay? Yeah, I'm all right, get you over there. I'll see if I can go down there. All right. You have a big wet spot on your shirt. I know, I had a disagreement with our bag of ice <laughs> <laughs> it didn't want to go in the freezer and I made it go in so there was a little blood sweat and tears but it's okay so we're gonna give another plug to boondockers RV here in Palmer or Parker Alaska Parker <laughs> can you tell we're tired <laughs> so we're gonna give another <laughs> another shout out to boondockers RV here in Parker Arizona such a convenient place they are so nice it is so clean they even provide you with gloves it's been awesome yep and the girls over there are awesome Cross 
love to travel with friends. We spent 10 days in Parker and boondocked with three other couples. And since some of them had never been to Wickenburg, we all decided to travel to Wickenburg to get some riding in. The area is close to Phoenix and the riding is spectacular. Unfortunately, Kelly was still recovering from her bruised ribs and like a trooper, she tried to go on a ride, but was really sore after we got back. But we still had a great time. As we like to say, our plans are made in jello. That way we can adjust and spend more time in the places we really enjoy. We are leaving in the morning. Kind of sad because it's really been fun here with our friends. But we're headed for Las Vegas tomorrow. And so we are, we just put the car up. Now Jim is tying it all down. coming in. So this is us. We're almost ready. I gotta go say goodbyes. Through the valley, I 
time may walk But you were all I'll ever need Gave you life to take my fall So in the storm I will have peace So come the storm I'll still believe I'm at the end And I don't know what I believe Through the cloud I see your hand Reaching down to guide me You're always reaching down to guide me Cause I am yours and I am free We are on our way to where? Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> Viva Las Vegas. We are on our way to Vegas. For? Another off-road race. <laughs> the Mint 400. The Mint 400. We had such a good time in Parker at the race that uh, the Mint 400 is just perfect for our travel plans. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to make it down to see the actual race, but they have some pretty cool things going on in Vegas. They have a parade of cars down Las Vegas Boulevard. Yes, and then they have a tech and vendor market down on Fremont. So we're going to go and check all that out, see what goes on there. See if we get more t-shirts. <laughs> more t-shirts, that's right. We got so many t-shirts at this last event. Ugh. So I got to ask, how are you feeling? Everybody wants to know, how are you feeling? I'm sore. I'm really sore. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been... A week. Has it been a week? Yeah, Saturday was a week. Okay, and so today's Monday. So a week and a little few over days. a week, yeah. Okay. But it said I, I googled it, you know, Doctor Google, and it said <laughs> four to eight weeks on one and three to six weeks on another. <laughs> but it's all right. I'll, I'll get better. It's just tough. Yeah, I didn't think it'd be this hard driving in the truck, but it's bouncy. It yeah, hurts. the roads aren't the best. No. This is we're taking. Uh, we're, we left Wickenburg. We stayed some. We stayed a little bit more time in Wickenburg. We went back after Parker. We went back to Wickenburg. To spend another week. Um, we love it there. We do. It was. It was a lot of fun. The riding was awesome. You tried to go on one ride. I did. Oh, I was sore the next day, that's for sure. Yeah, it didn't turn out too well, but no. that's all right. We got to hang out with our friends. Uh, we all went to Veg or to Wickenburg and, and hung out yeah. and uh, went to a church yesterday that is bigger than any church that I've ever been in. Oh, my Definitely goodness. a mega church. It was super mega church oh my gosh i mean it had fields football fields and or soccer fields or something but it was huge but was. i guess there's a school there so that makes sense but, but it uh, was beautiful it's it was great yeah it was huge i've never seen anything quite like it big huge cafeteria yeah it was it was awesome yep so our friends invited us to go that's the church they attend when they spend the winter down there and we uh, we attended and uh, it was fun. Yeah, it was good to get back to church. It was. It's been a while. It was. And then we got a chance to drop by Costco again real quick. Yay! Pick up a couple of items. And since we're headed to Vegas, we'll get a chance to do some more shopping there. So I have got to ask you, we what do you think of this? I mean, we haven't stayed in an RV park 
since probably Texas. Right. Yeah, and that wasn't even full hookups. In, in November. Yeah. Um, so what are you thinking of this boondock? It, it's fine. I mean, we're set for everything, so it's been fairly comfortable. I'm excited, though, to go full hookups. Yeah. But, uh, but no, I mean, it's... The rigs are filthy, inside yeah. and out. I mean, there's things you can't do that I would normally do if I'm hooked up. But, um, you know, things like scrubbing my shower, because, you know, you got to, you know, save water. and. Yep. So, we're going to do a lot of cleaning when we get to Vegas, which, yep. is, which I'm excited about. So, we have, we're going to stay in Vegas for a week. Uh, if you go way, way, way back in our early videos, when we first started full-timing, we tried to get into oh. Thousand Trails Las yeah. Vegas, which was an absolute disaster. But anyway, we did not fit there, and so we discovered uh, the Clark County Shooting Complex, which is on the northwest side of Vegas. You and guys. They, oh. They have RV spots available, and it can get crowded if they have a shooting tournament there. Yeah, it can get crowded. And they do shoot there, so if you don't, if, if that yeah. upsets you, you know, you or dogs, or dogs, then you know you have to take that in consideration because more than likely they'll have at least one event. Yeah. But I tell you, it's it's away from the strip. It has its own little town, and it's really a cute little town. Um, long long sites yeah and, they're 95 feet long yeah level and gravel full hookups and it's nothing fancy there's no pool or anything like that but that's what we go for anyway without a pool and yep. we just want to fit we want to just relax yep. and go and do what we need to do yep so we are headed to vegas for a week and what did you think of the joshua tree forest back there it was cool I mean, they're, they're, I'm going to make some people mad. They're scraggly looking. <laughs> they're not the prettiest things, but it was cool to see them all. Nonetheless, I mean, it was. They were different. Yeah. Yeah, but they were, they weren't the prettiest things. So we're going north on 93 out of Wickenburg on up to Vegas. We're going to stay in Vegas for a week and uh, hang out in Vegas, do some shopping, and check out the Mint 400 uh, tech show and vendors. See if we can't spend some more money. Yeah, oh yeah. It's always fun to spend lots of money. <laughs> so we'll get there this afternoon. Off we go. That's what I love about this. It's three and a half hour drive and that's it. Yeah. It's a really quick trip. And we gain an hour because they're Pacific time. Oh, oh my gosh, we haven't been at Pacific time in a long time. Yep. All right, here we go. After boondocking in the desert for over six weeks, all of our rigs were filthy. So as we traveled through Kingman, Arizona, we discovered there was a blue beacon truck wash in town. Yay! And since there wasn't much of a wait, we decided to have everything washed. It's just an overspray, okay. not a big deal. I don't, don't worry about the car. Okay. So no acid, Okay. no brushes on the RV, please. Okay. You can do brushes on this, but not on the RV. Okay, all right, sir. And that's good? Yes, sir, no, just soap and water and everything for you. Uh, you said brushing's okay on the pit? Brushing's okay on the truck. Just not the motor. Just not, right. All right, sounds good, sir. We'll get you pulled in there inside just a minute, okay? Thanks. Thank you. This is the first I've never seen a car <laughs> come to the Blue Beacon. I don't think they have either. <laughs> oh, the truck is so clean. I oh, know. It's so happy. It is happy. Is that a light over there? That's and we're a happy. Light, yeah. Do you need to turn left? I do. Yeah, it's just it's not easy to come out here, is it? Um, I'd say go around, but there's the oh, RVs. The yeah, RVs are just stopped right there. So I guess I would. Gotta get behind that black truck. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Because if you 
go right, you're gonna go into the gas station. I don't wanna do that. No. Wow, this is kind of a... Yep. Well, we made it. Yay! Las Vegas, here we are. <laughs> Sin City, some people say. We're not gamblers. We just like to watch off-road races and people. That's right. Yes, we're the boring part of Vegas. Yeah, but the view up here is absolutely phenomenal. It is uh, really nice at night. Oh you can God. see the strip. Yes. But we are gonna spend a week here before we head on over to Pahrump. So, thanks for coming along. Remember, give it a thumbs up. Those thumbs up really do mean something. That's right. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a penny. Nope. And uh, check us out as we go down the road again. Oh, and, and go over to our Instagram and Facebook also. We're there too. Yeah. All right. So we're going to wrap this one up from Las Vegas, Nevada. It all starts with an idea. Take those ideas, turn them into reality and make some memories. Absolutely. We're having some great memories. We we'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.